All right, here we go. We got eight, nine suited. It's gonna three bet. It's a nice hand to three bet with. This deep over 100 big blinds. And Fedor has a pretty standard call with 10, seven suited. So we'll take a flop and it's a flop where nobody hits nothing. Typically on these monotone boards, the bet is very small. As you can see, 700 into 4,000, like 20%, you know, ish. But I don't know, Fedor really has nothing. But here's the thing. Wow. So Fedor peeled this flop, eight queen, eight four diamonds with 10, seven of spades, right? If he's doing that, he's pretty much never folding to that size, okay? I wonder if this hand might be stretching it just a little bit, right? Now, Victor turns the nine and Fedor's fly, you know, made an open his straight draw. And Victor elects to check this turn. And now look at this. So Fedor really has kind of the bottom of his range. Maybe he could have some seven high, six high type hands, but he has he peeled with nothing. So if you're going to do that, you, you, know, you better follow that up with a plan. So I think here it's just a check call with eights and nines. And then the river's the ace of spades. Okay, so kind of sort of a blankish card. Like, you don't think Fedor has an ace of diamonds very often um, as played, unless he has two diamonds. Because, like, a lot of, uh, there's not a ton of, uh, there's a lot more ace suited aces that call a three bet than there are off suit aces. Because, like, a seven, a six fold, but, like, ace, if they're suited, they call, for example. So, I wouldn't be all that worried if I was Victor about the ace specifically. I'd be like, all right, well, maybe he'll value bet, you know, an ace if he has it. But I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't think uh, that's uh, really a thing. So now Fedor really has nothing left but the jam. So he overbet jams here. Victor with two pair. Now the question is this, right? We've said that he's overfolding. We see what, Fid what Fedor is peeling this flop with, right? The question is, does he beat any value hands? Well, we saw Fedor go real thin with two kings, right? So is there a chance that Fedor here has ace 10 with the 10 of diamonds or ace jack? the jack of diamonds possibly right there is some hands that he could be value betting that you beat and then you got to factor in all the possible bluffs that fedor could have and clearly he could so i think you probably have to call with the eights and nines in this spot and he does fold so once again fedor got a bunch through and he shows him the seven of spades ouch that had to hurt 